Hello and welcome to Big Wheelers Driver Training. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of reversing, okay? Now, obviously, the 3A is split into two parts. We did the hitch on hitch last time, okay? This time, we're going to do the reversing, okay? Now, we've just had the wagon and come back off test. We have, um, we have some tests today, so I thought, well, might as well get it over and done with now. It saves me on to do it tomorrow on the weekend. So then, the reversing is quite simple, okay? All we have to do is to go from cone A and A1, which is the far end of the reverse ground, reverse back to the left-hand side of cone B, and back into the box. You're going to have a yellow and ha black hatched area at the back of the box, okay? The far rear of the yellow and hatched area is what you're going for, okay? The little bit of yellow slither at the front isn't for you. It used to be for B&E. And it's crazy to think that they give you a smaller area to reverse a bus or HGV in than they do <laughs> B&E, to be quite frank, which is crazy. But anyway, not to worry. So what we're going to do is we're going to hitch the, put the airlines back on, okay? Take it over to our reversing ground and then we'll have a quick chat about how to go and do it and we'll show you how we do it, okay? Now obviously, it's a bit of an issue, we're going to end up using a couple of different cameras to try and make it work, okay? Um, so bear with us, we'll try our best to get it the right way. Right then, so this is our reverse area for the uh, Class 1 and Class 2, uh, exactly the same for PSVs and all that sort of stuff, or PCV, okay? Um, there is no difference, okay? That's what you're looking at right in front of us, okay? So directly to the left, you can see the yellow and black hatched box area, which is down to the left, you can just about see it, okay? Then also on the left here, you've got the three cones on the left, which is effectively the garage that you've got to reverse into. You can also see the perimeter yellow lines either side of the reverse ground, okay? Now obviously that gives you a box, okay? So, as it stands, the DVSA do not want you to cross any of the lines, okay? Don't need to hit any of the cones in general, okay? Now then, as we go forward, so I'll drive ourselves forward now, okay? And we're gonna approach cone B, which is the middle cone, which we're just heading towards now. Okay, which you can see it come into view, which is on the 30, 30 meter line, I think it is, there, thereabouts, okay? So as we go forward, we can see it right there now, we can, quite prominent, right in front of us, right there. Okay, that's cone B. And then cone A and A1 are up the far end up there, okay? Now, all we need to do is drive ourselves all the way forward, past cone A, past, past cone B, sorry, all the way up to cone A and A1. Once we get to cone A and A1, the front end of the vehicle must be no further, okay? So you use your classics mirror, which is up there, use that mirror, and you use that one on the side there, your top of your pedestrian mirror, and that way you can see cone A in them two mirrors. Put ourselves as close to cone B as possible. So as we go past cone B, we just need to look in our top mirror to make sure we are close to it. Now then, if I stop us right there, we'll turn the camera around, look up into the top mirror, and you will be able to see cone B appear. Okay, it's just by the 30 line it is. Right around there, that's where cone B is. Okay, just coming up to the 30 mark there. Okay, can't see it very well, two seconds. I'll whip across to the mirror and then that way you'll be able to see it properly. Okay, so you can see cone B right there. So you can see how close I am. I'm fairly close, aren't I? Now, the closer you are to cone B on your approach, the better you are when it comes back to starting your reverse, okay? Because the further you are across the cone B, it gives you a fairly close position to cone A, and then that way, on the right-hand side here, when you're at cone A, cone A1, you'll have plenty of distance between you and the yellow line, okay? So, we'll carry on approaching. So we'll carry on approaching cone A, and you'll be able to see. Ah, 
and there we are there now okay right then so if we look in our classics mirror on the front okay we can't see it very well but we can see cone b cone a sorry is literally right there it is okay oh let's pick my finger across a bit i'm trying to look at the camera at the same time right there is cone a okay if you're looking from the front of the vehicle okay the front of the vehicle then you're no further than cone a and a1 okay that's exactly where you need to be now if you look in your side mirror up here okay you can see cone a down the side of you can't you you're literally exactly in the right place and if you look in your big mirror down the side you can see cone b straight down the side of you okay so you've got a clear view either way so you can see all the cones so we're in our position now okay we're going to start our reverse exercise now for any of you who don't know okay there are a lot of people obviously who don't understand how reversing works okay how to move the trailer left and right okay for us if we want the trailer to go left we push up on our left hand okay and that means the trailer will go left if we want the trailer to go right we push up on our right hand and the trailer goes right now i don't care really care like you know how you want to do it left to go right and right to go left if you're in that school of thought as long as you understand how a trailer moves from left to right and how to steer it left to right that's the most important thing okay so obviously we have to cater for people who've never done this before so the easiest way for us to do it is if you want the trailer to go left push up on your left hand if you want the trailer to go right you push up on your right so straight away we're going to start the reverse going backwards okay so we're going to stick it into reverse and we're going to put it into reverse slow okay we don't want to go speeding backwards do we uh, for our reverse it's uh, i'm not being funny it doesn't look good to start with and secondly uh, you're not in control are you and that's the most important thing we need to be in control at all times so the other thing we need to do before we go anywhere is sort our steering out okay because Every time we do a full rotation of this wheel, we lose approximately a metre of ground. Now, you've only got 60 metres in this trailer and, uh, and Arctic combination, okay, to do the reverse in. So if you're losing a metre every time you're trying to steer the trailer, kind of a problem, isn't it, okay? You kind of get lost along the way. Not only that, okay, what people tend to do is when they're reversing, you don't tend to steer fast enough. Okay, we all want to like nice and gentle, like you know, nice and gentle when there's no need. When you turn the steering wheel, get it going, get it moved left and right, left and right. Okay, now we don't charge you for turning the steering wheel, so don't be lazy. Simple as that. So, get it back to zero, back to zero on the angle. There we go, we're back into zero. So, we want the trailer to go left first and foremost. So, straight away, we'll push up on our left hand and we'll do full left hand up. Now, there's going to be people also who are going to be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing full lock while standing still and all this nonsense. Well, whilst I agree with you, but there's a certain amount of element that you want them to pass the three A you do. You're trying to get, you're trying to teach people to pass. And if that goes and costs someone more money, then so be it. But the fact of the matter is, is that it's costing us money by doing the way we are. And we do more steering than probably most of you out there when it comes down to running the haulage company. Wouldn't you rather that someone steered the wheel from a stand and start and got it where it needs to go than someone not steering from the stand and start, allowing it to keep on rolling, keep pressing the accelerator and crashing into something? The question's yours. I'm not bothered either way. We do it our way. So, but you as employees or people out there or drivers who are all going to be shouting and screaming about this yeah and what simple as that so we've got a full 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 left hand up on okay mirror mirror blind spot and start sending ourselves back now as you can see i'm nice and gentle rolling back aren't i okay now there's going to be a black line that's going to appear on the side of the trailer okay on the headboard and i'm looking for it i am yeah now as you can see i'm totally relaxed aren't i I'm not stretching my head around the corner looking for it, okay? I am just easing my way around. There now. Handbrake on, into neutral. So, I've done the first part of the reverse. Easy. As soon as I see that black line, or the green one, depending on what trailer you're using, okay? All I need to do now is full right hand up and move ourselves all the way around, okay? Lock to lock. Reverse, slow, mirror, mirror, 
Blind spot. And off we go again. Reverse and back. Keep that full lock on. Now you're keeping your full lock on until you get yourself near enough straightish, okay? Now we're also you need to keep an eye on the yellow line on the floor. And as we come round, we need to make sure that we don't cross the yellow line. Now as you can see, I'm looking in my mirror, making sure I'm good, having a little look in general. I'm onto the yellow line, okay? And all I'm gonna do is take a bit of lock off and run the yellow line. So as we run the yellow line back, as you can see, we're getting to the point now, and we've got a little bit of kink on the trailer we have, okay? Now I don't need literally straight to a certain extent, I want a slight bit of kink on, so then that way you can force, as you're going straight your wheel now, yeah? Then the trailer will still keep coming back at an angle because the rear steer trailers. If you had a triaxle, yes, you'd have to put a little bit more kink on, but even then you don't want to put too much on. Remember, whilst the tri turns slower and these twin uh, rear steers turn faster, you still don't want to be putting loads of steering input into it as much as you can. Because now, we're on the yellow line, we're going to straighten our wheel out, get me head out the window, make sure we're good, yeah. Now I'm keeping an eye on what happens out there. Pull that down a bit, can't see what I'm doing, can I? <laughs> so, I can see myself with a slight kink on the trailer, now all I need to do is mirror, mirror, blind spot, and back we go. Now again, I'm not really staying on the steering wheel, am I? Okay, I'm going to let the trailer come round, and if we need to force it, then we're going to force it round a little bit, only a bit, okay? We don't want it to go too far, okay? We want to catch it before it gets that far, okay? And then as soon as we realise where we need to be, then we're going to counter steer, as you can see. Okay, bring myself back round, straighten my wheel, and just watching myself go back. Now, I'm going to put a slight little kink on, that's it, straighten my wheel, let it walk back. Check my mirrors, making sure I'm not running anyone over, okay, just checking in general, okay. And as we go back, get ourselves straight, which is about there now, okay, and then just keep running myself back then. As you can see, there's not loads of steering input, is there? I'm not doing all this nonsense, like I'm sailing the seven seas and all this nonsense. I'm not bringing the HSS into port and all the other and that nonsense, all right? Okay, we're just easing our way back. Now, as you can see, it's not really taking us any time at all, is it? So as we go back now, we're going to look for our mark on the trailer. Now, the mark on the trailer is on the rear mud guard on ours, okay? And when you see that mark, Come into contact with the high, with the horizontal black line. All you need to do is to stop. So as we go back, keep checking your mirrors. Plenty of them. And we're going to keep ourselves going back until that marker gets onto the black line, which we're not far off there now. The yellow mark goes onto the yellow, onto the black line. Handbrake on. Neutral. Done. Simple as that. There's no hard in reversing, okay? You make it harder for yourself by not being ahead of the trailer. If you're ahead of the trailer, well, you're there, aren't you? So you can always predict what the trailer's going to do. Now, what, you're, what we're going to find is, is people are going to say, oh, you've got rear steer trailers, okay? You, I'll turn the engine off. Not worse than the noise of a diesel, is there? So, what you're going to find is people are going to be going on about rear steer trailers, okay? And how hard they are to reverse. They're not hard. Okay? They're just not used to steering them. Now, because you're on effectively new candidates, or most of you are new candidates, yeah, this should not really be a problem. The other thing being is what we find with a lot of uh, full-time wagon drivers is that they typically uh, tow triaxle trailers. So as I said, when we get our triaxle trailer out from over there, yeah, and we do reverses with that, yeah, then it turns slower. So you have to put a little bit more steering input in 
but it's not overly a lot okay it's more when you first do your first bit of reversing you see what i was on the yellow line there okay for a slight little period of time okay with that i've done it for far longer but what we'll do is we'll get the triaxle out and we'll do a reverse of the tri if you want and you can see exactly the same with that there is no difference so now i've reversed into the box i need to get out and have a look and make sure it is actually in the box okay if it's not in the box then i can only get out once to check when you move back and to go and finish the exercise okay once you're happy just stop handbrake on into neutral turn your engine off yeah and stay in the cab you cannot get out and check a second time if for some reason you make a mistake while reversing across the reverse ground you can pull forward twice so you've got three chances to get it back in this box it's the easy way of putting it okay um don't make it too difficult for yourself if you need to pull forward yeah pull forward make sure you can always see where you're reversing into i don't want you peeking out the window like this yeah trying to look out as you can see i'm totally in a relaxed position aren't i okay when i look out my mirror i can see exactly what i need to see so them cones down the side of me here yeah i need to be able to see them for me to know where i'm reversing into simple as that really okay as i said don't make it hard for yourself if you do well you'll be here all day all afternoon for as long as it needs to be simple as that okay remember if you cannot reverse you will not get out on the road the easiest way for us to put it is that if you're coming to us and come to do some uh come to do your hgv training okay what i'd suggest to you is that if you're coming to do a C and E, which is obviously class one or you know you have a good vehicle, okay. What I'm gonna say is get out and drive tow a trailer, but make sure you do loads of reversing with that trailer. If you can understand the principles of how to reverse a trailer, it'll make our job a lot easier. It'll also make your day a lot shorter on this reverse ground. What you don't realise is how much time you can waste on the reverse ground. By doing what you're doing get out go do some reversing yourself the smaller the trailer the better because then that way you catch it don't you okay what some people want to try and do is use car trailers and that sort of stuff that's fine okay but if you can reverse a small trailer really well and catch the left to right nonsense yeah you'll be gold easy as that so get out and let's have a look and as we walk around the back what we're going to show you now is the marker you're going to be looking for right here so this is your marker here in your wing mirror when that crosses that horizontal black line you're there okay let's give you a bit more of a look the rear of the vehicle is in the box now in is in regardless okay so the rear of the trailer is past that black line on the floor job done right so as you can see we've got the triaxle on the back now we've got a little gopro mounted up here i'll show you come along triaxle's on the back we're back in the cab and we're going to do exactly the same again into drive mirror mirror blind spot and drive ourselves on as we come up now ignore that it's the fasten seatbelt sign but obviously where we're on private property because this is all private property then we can do what we want and get away with it not only that what you're doing you're reversing in general as a truck driver you do have the privilege of being able to do any reverse and maneuvers uh, without your seatbelt on okay so we're really close to cone b again we're going to approach cone a and a1 now so you can see yourselves we get up to cone A and A1, we'll do exactly the same. Come up slow, stop before cone A and A1. I'll get out and show you. So then, this is the position I was talking about with regards to cone A and A1. If you look right here now, okay, the two front cones, we are just shy of it. We could have used a bit more room, couldn't we? 
but I'll be honest with you, I don't need so much room to do reverse. <laughs> anyway, as we go walk around the front and we look down the side of cone A, and I could see in cone B quite vividly, down, can't I? Straight down the side of the trailer, I could see cone B down there, okay? And that is the ideal situation you need to be in. And as we did before, we reverse back to the left hand side of cone B into the box at the very far end down there, like that. Okay, so let's zoom back out, let's get back in, we can sort it out. But as you can see this side here, where I'm so far across the cone B, I've got all this room between the yellow line and the trailer, haven't I? And with that, that gives me plenty of room to do my steering manoeuvres. Now, where on the other trailer, there was a green black line on the headboard, on this one, there is just a straightforward black line. And you can see it right there you can okay that's the black line okay when you see that in the mirror then you've got to do a full steer the opposite direction so then put you back over there that'll do you there that well move me chair forward as you can see the sun's gone in now so put me blind up give it a start Whoa. it's serious but i ain't got me jacket on <laughs> so we know we're ready to go. Right then, into reverse, reverse slope. Okay, straight away, full lock on, on our steering. Mirror, mirror, blind spot, and back we go. Okay, and then as we go back, we'll keep our full lock on until we see the black line on the trailer. When we see that, then we'll stop. Keep ourselves going. And you'll be able to see off the GoPro footage how much further we've steered. Right then. So now I can see the black line just down the side. I'll show you now. So looking there at our wing mirror, you can see, see if I can zoom in a bit. I can't do that, can I? Maybe I need to do it like that. There we go. Right then, there's the black line there. I can see it just down the side of my wing, okay? As I said, I knew the one. One's got a green mark on, the other one's got a black line on, okay? So don't worry about it too much. That's it. Right then, and then let's go back again. So, full up the opposite way. So I say, lock to lock, no matter what. Into reverse, slow, mirror, blind spot, and back we go. As you go back now, we're gonna have to ride the yellow line back for a period of time, okay? So as we go back, we we'll get ourselves onto the yellow line, and then we start feeding it off. You see how quick I move my hands? That's what I want you to do. Okay? Keep an eye on both sides of the truck. Keep on that yellow line, okay? And move it left and right as you need. Now then, you see how long I was on there for? It must have been a good couple of seconds, easy. It must have been like maybe a meter, maybe, you know, two meters probably say two meters there there but anyway compared to what the rear steer was now I'm in exactly the same position as I was with the rear steer now I've got a slight kink on the trailer all I need to do is straighten my wheel which is right there send myself back into reverse reverse slow mirror mirror blind spot and off we go backwards again so keep checking ourselves the trailer's going round the trailer's going round because it's forcing itself round okay now, as I said, it's going around slower, but what I need to go and do is I need to deal with the trailer. So the trailer's going too much round to the right, so I put a little bit of left hand up on to counteract it. That's it. And as you can see, I'm not really steering, am I? I'm just letting it roll back, letting it do its thing, checking my mirrors, okay? And then about, oh, about there now, I start to the steering lock off. All the way off. So I get myself perfectly straight to go back into the box. Now, as you can see, the speed that I'm driving this truck at is literally not even walking pace, is it? Okay, that's what I need you to do. All right, because if you don't go and do walking pace, yeah, and we start going back like this and start picking up speed, or we start going all over the place, and there is no one yet. I mean, absolutely no one. I know there's going to be people who are going to be watching this and they're going to be like, oh, I'll just stop and put my handbrake down. Oh, you know, when I did my reverse and I just whizzed across the reverse ground and I didn't have to go slow. There is no one 
who can do this at a rate of knots. No one. They say they can, they're lying. And I'll challenge anyone to turn up to our reverse ground and come do a reverse at a rate of knots. I want to see the best part of a 10 mile an hour reverse from someone. If someone can tell us to do that to me, hats off to them. But I'll tell you what, I don't think any of you can. So, back to what's in question here. Into reverse, keep ourselves going back. Mirror, mirror, blind spot, okay. I let me have a break off a bit earlier then. And we go back into the box, okay. And then we make sure that we get ourselves in the box. Now, luckily enough, this trailer has a marker on the back end, but not only that, it has a reversing sensor as it does. So I know when it's getting close to the barrier because it goes beep, 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 like your car would do. Okay? And that's it, we're in the box. Now tells to it. I said there'll be GoPro footage which you'll be able to see of the side of the trailer and I'll show you how much lock, how much the trailer has actually had to come round in the first instance to get it back here, okay? There is a lot of tyre scrubbing, blah blah blah, but you want to do it or you don't. Simple as that, okay? Reversing is a skill, there's people out there who still struggle with it, who are qualified drivers, alright? It takes effort. Get into the services, have a go, if you've got your yard, a big enough yard to have a reversing, go do it okay as you say if you aren't sure about reversing and you need assistance get in touch with us and whether it's nighttime reversing general reversing give us a shout and we'll do a course just on reversing basically we'll get our trailers out we've got enough trailers over there we've got loads of them we have <laughs> way too many trailers we've got a trailer for everything basically as you say We'll get the trailers out, we'll park them up next to it, and we'll give you real life problems basically. Okay, if that's what you want, get in touch, we'll sort it out for you. So, that's the end of the 3 8. You've done your hitch on hitch, you've done your reverse. Now, what you need to do is crack on with the road. See you next time. Hello.